Hello Breakthrough family. It's so exciting for us to be able to be joining together on this journey into establishing the wine skin that's going to be holding the new wine. And we thank the Lord for the way in which He has made provision for us. He has organized and orchestrated plans and we are ready to be able to see the tangible outworking of this building project. So let's give thanks to the Lord for what He's done thus far and let's continue to enjoy this journey of faith and of seeing God's goodness come in practical, tangible ways as we journey together in this building project. Thank you for your partnership. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the way in which we are running together. Let's trust the Lord that the best is yet to come. God bless you. Hey, Breakthrough Life. I uh, want to talk about a few things uh, just real quick. First thing is trees. Second thing is paving and uh, a new classroom that we, we can use. I just want to talk about trees. All of these trees have been tree felled just in the last two weeks. Um, uh, these, these trees here are in the way of the foundation. And as soon as we've appointed a developer, he would come with these big machines and uproot all of these trees. But we've had to take these trees down just on the lines, on the foundational lines, where our new multiple purpose wall would stand. While we're also taking down trees, we'd also really like to save some trees. And we're looking to transplant um, some of these smaller trees to Holding 21, our other uh, piece of land, uh, especially to that uh, parking area. And so all uh, around our existing parking area, you would see trees that's got a little, little tick on it. And so if it's got that on it, we're going to uh, save the tree and we're going to transplant it. And it's got to be done now in winter, so it's got, to, uh, got the best time to grow. Um, and take on the other side. Here, at the back here we're redoing the paving and uh, what we're going to do is this is going to become our new entrance as we work towards closing off of that area of that side. So what we've done here is just uh, pave the whole area. Okay, part of what we're doing is uh, we're expanding in our children's ministry. So this will be uh, one of our new children's ministry venues We've just had this constructed this week. It will be ready next week, Sunday, uh, for one of the groups to go into. All right, so besides the stuff of the past two weeks or so that uh, we've seen around the property, some of the questions that you probably have in your mind is, so where has our money, money gone and how has that benefited us in the, in the long run? So I want to take you back to the purchasing of the piece of land next door. So that was sort of the first thing just to secure land and to ensure that for our, for our long-term vision and our long-term future we have enough land um, uh, so that we can accommodate parking and if any further expansion that could be aimed for. A lot of the stuff, a lot of money went into town planning and to application fees for firstly the site development plan that was approved and our building plan that is imminent for approval, uh, the only outstanding item being the finalization of our material time on properties. Also various other um, professional fees uh, from fire engineers to sound engineers to electrical engineers to structural or civil engineers, um, a lot of just professional people and we'll continue with some of those as, as, we, as we go along. And of course the architect uh, that's been walking the road with us. The value of our property has increased um, just doing this. Just, uh, yes, uh, just in this week we've learned that um, by doing all of our rezoning and, uh, applications that is already in process, um, that the, and the value of our property would increase from an existing 10 million to 15 million rand. So just that town planning portion probably cost us 250,000 rand, which is a good, re which 5 million rand is a good return on 250,000. Uh, what were some of the challenges and the destinies from all of this? Well, um, bureaucracy and red tape is rife and 
especially when it comes to to all of these application processes. So um, it's been a real fight just to get to where we are right now. Um, but one of the stories that's uh, really cool for me was as we met up with the town planner. The town planner sat here and he looked at our situation and said, you know, I've just discovered this new process which is called an extension of boundary that would take our existing institutional rights and transfer it onto our new land as we apply for that process. It's a provincial government process and it's already six months in advance and we're really happy uh, for meeting up with somebody that could identify just that. The alternative was, uh, was a long five year period Claiming uh, townships, dividing lands, etc. There's a small building committee working on various things over the next three to six months as we progress. Um, part of uh, a core of what they would look at is the appointment of a professional construction team, uh, starting with a quantity surveyor, uh, working through detailed costings, and then ending. Uh, with a tender process, a formal tender process, and then selecting a developer. I really want to urge you to pray for this, uh, this team because we just cannot get it wrong to appoint the wrong uh, developer. And there, there's a big responsibility on this team to get it right.